Hi guys, I'm Shantanu Dasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine recapping everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. I have gathered the top stories of the day, so let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our stories. Our first story is that Microsoft has built an AI powered autocomplete for code using GPT-3. This tool is still in its initial phase, but it has a scope of growth and a big potential. So in September 2020, Microsoft bought the exclusive license to the underlying technology of GPT-3, which was developed by OpenAI. So now Microsoft has created the first commercial use of this program. It is an assistive feature in the company's Power App software that turns natural language into ready-made code. This feature helps you to create and autocorrect formulas in Microsoft Power FX, a simple programming language derived from Microsoft Excel formulas that's used mainly for database queries. But it shows a lot of promise and it can be used in the future as a tool for beginners to autocomplete their code. That being said, GPT-3 as a language can go rogue very quickly and the company needs to navigate through its weaknesses. This is one of the stepping stone in Microsoft's ambitious goal of creating low code to no code. But Microsoft will have to be careful because GPT-3 still acquires all its data which is dumped on the internet but the company has said that they have fine-tuned GPT-3 to translate into code by training it on examples of power FX formula. But the core of this program is still based on the language patterns that it learned on the internet which means that it retains the possibility of becoming toxic and biased. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about artificial intelligence of things and why should companies invest in creating artificial intelligence of things because it is here to stay. Artificial intelligence of things combines two concepts of artificial intelligence and internet of things which can give you a lot of freedom because it cuts you off from the network restrictions and sending data back and forth to and fro from the cloud. It can solve a lot of your problems without even internet connectivity because a lot of data will be fed into the device itself. Therefore, it does not require any other sets of data to solve your problem. If this becomes a reality, it is highly beneficial for you because it does not share your data with the tech giants compromising your current and future privacy. Secondly, the decisions can be almost instantaneous because they do not have to go through the latency of sending data back and forth through the cloud. Thirdly, it means that it does not require any data or connectivity to the internet which is only going to get worse and worse if people keep connecting more cloud networks to the internet. Autonomous driving vehicles will need to work on artificial intelligence of things because it cannot rely on network connectivity while it's in motion. So if companies want to take advantage of artificial intelligence of things, they will need to cross two hurdles before that. First one being they need to create a data chip that has massive computing powers in a smaller form which can fit into any devices and can compute a lot of data in a short amount of time. The second thing is that they need to create products which are useful and give convenience to the customers. They should not be something like a mundane innovation that was electric toothbrush which on the surface looks innovative but was turned out to be useless and is being debunked by a lot of dentists in the world. These types of innovations sound gimmicky rather than being actually useful to the customer. So an example given in this article is that if a company creates a refrigerator using artificial intelligence of the things, the refrigerator should not connect the user's Twitter account to the refrigerator which is very useless but they should add an intelligence that analyzes the contents of the fridge and automatically adds those items which are running low to their shopping list. Once manufacturers can address both of these issues, artificial intelligence of the things can become the greatest invention in the past 50 years. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about brain computer interfaces and how there is a race to create the new breakthrough. So one of the most famous companies of the brain computer interface industry is Neuralink which is backed by Elon Musk. But now BlackRock Neuratech is getting the backing from Peter Thiel who was Elon Musk's business partner when they founded 
PayPal together. He is investing $10 million in BlackRock Neuratech, which is a direct competitor to Elon Musk's Neuralink. Even though Neuralink is the most famous, but BlackRock Neuratech is working since 2008 in this brain-computer interface industry. The CEO of BlackRock Neuratech also informed that the company is making profit since 2015, but this is the first time that they have captured a significant amount of funding. So brain-computer interfaces are generally to solve problems that are suffered by neurological patients that have suffered some neurological damage. So BlackRock Neurotech has claimed their success by testing their product on 28 patients across Europe, US and China while Neuralink is planning to do their human trials sometime next year. But BlackRock Neurotech has devices which are wired and it can seem like there are wires sticking out of the patient's head whereas Neuralink has been working on wireless technology all along. While BlackRock Neurotech has also started working on their wireless products, the fact that they have started their research way before Neuralink was conceived gives them an advantage over Neuralink. Moving on to the last story of our day, our last story is still about Tesla and Elon Musk has said that Tesla will become a robotics firm and not just a car manufacturing firm. So Elon Musk has said that when they were working on their autonomous electric vehicles, there was not a lot of technology available and they had to create everything from the ground up. This merging of artificial intelligence with adequate hardware is going to make them a great robotic firm in the coming future. Unlike other companies that are betting on just artificial intelligence like Microsoft that acquired OpenAI's GPT-3, Tesla is betting big on robotics as they have created their autonomous vehicles using six camera machine learning and a computerized brain capable of reacting at superhuman speeds. Additionally, the company continues its work on Dojo, which is a supercomputer that is used to train the artificial intelligence inside Tesla's autonomous vehicles. Elon Musk has previously claimed that Tesla's Dojo supercomputer will be capable of performing an X-flop, a quintillion of floating point operations per second, or 1000 petaflops making it one of the most powerful computers in the world. He has also said that it can be optimized to train a certain type of neural network and it will also be available for other companies to buy. So that's about it. Those were all the stories that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, click on that thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It helps us a lot. Please read all these stories in their entirety. Links for them will be in the description down below. And while you are at it, click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from Analytics India magazine.